Uh, hello, everybody. Yeah, I'm up in my office at uh, Prophet Elias here at the village of uh, Sir Martha. <laughs> I'm at my office here at the village uh, of Prophet Elias. That's where Mars Alpha is. Uh, up here for the weekend. Uh, I got here yesterday. It was Thursday, and I'll be here until Tuesday. So I'm going to vlog while I'm up here, and then I'll post it. Uh, Probably uh, all together as a follow me vlog uh, for uh, for basically another trip to Mars Alpha for more for more expedition work. But this is going to be this is going to be a B today. This is going to be a BTS vlog, uh, and I'll do a short BTS vlog maybe uh, every day, and then just sort of post them afterwards. I, I don't know whether I'm going to do it all follow me, or then or just do a, a BTS uh, or. Or just do BTS vlogs. I'll sort of see how I'm going to do things. I'm still working things out on my schedule here. I've now been able to sort of schedule the shooting in better. And <laughs> the goal the goal is eventually to, you know, get everything in a uh, sort of a crunch time format. In other words, get as much done during the day as possible. Because there is, there's so much to get done uh, in addition to the research, in addition to all the different things that has to be done. Uh, that uh, you really do have to sort of schedule things in and try to get the most amount of, uh, of the, the time you have during the day to get things done, uh, you know, to do, to do the work, actually. So, uh, that being said, is obviously, uh, this is uh, our back-to-school uh, uh, segment here, uh, or, or, or series, uh, and that's our eighth back-to-school series. And I missed, what is it I missed? I missed, I missed, uh, uh, filming the BTS vlogs. I missed Tuesday, I missed Wednesday and Thursday. I have Tuesday. Tuesday is going to be up a little bit late. As uh, you see what happened, things are a little bit behind because, uh, during chemo uh, basically, I was around operating in my office for about four hours. So I had four hours, just about four hours in my office to get everything done that I need to get done, including the research and everything else, and then get off to church and then, uh, everything sort of proceeded from there so there wasn't a lot of time and sort of th things fell behind particularly as I was also trying to catch up from Mars Alpha the uh, summer expedition which was about three weeks up that was three weeks that was three weeks there that I had to catch up on so there was a lot to catch up on but things have caught up things are sort of well uh, to a certain degree have, have caught up enough that we could start proceeding further with what, what needs to be done and uh, that being said, is I spent most of uh, most uh, most of Thursday. I spent most of Thursday uh, either packing for the Mars Alpha trip trip up here uh, for this weekend uh, and uh, traveling. So that was mostly Thursday. Then on Wednesday, I actually uh, spent till four o'clock in the morning reorganizing my office. And I got it here. That's the office here. Uh, sometimes what I find is that uh, if you fill the uh, the Android up too much with junk. Uh, and a lot of play stuff that it starts to slow down. So what I've done is to really make it functional as, a, as, as an office. Uh, everything that I don't need has been pulled off. And uh, I've got it organized to the point where I've got enough room here that uh, I don't really have to worry about uh, things slowing down too much. The writing works well. The, the typing works well. Uh, all the editors work well. So things are working well on here they've got it's got a good uh, amount of speed to it uh, so there's no issue here so that's what i did on on, on wednesday it took me up to about four o'clock in the morning to really reorganize things then thursday i had an opportunity while we were traveling to think about the new series i'm working on working on called the kitchen diner and to bring out a lot of the new features for it uh, in terms of what I want to put in this show. And I realized that what I want to do is that the show is not only going to be useful for people, for people who want to bring restaurant food home or restaurant style food home, but for those of you who want to start up a small little business, small little restaurant type of business, a food type of business, you can do it. If, if, if you're going to serve like a small amount of customers, like four or five people at a time, you can do that with a small diner. And your diner can actually be very good. And so this, uh, we went into a place that was, in a lot of the places up here, particularly if you go to the country, you're going to find a lot of very small, tiny places. And some of them are going to be standard fare, some of them are going to be uh, above expectation, you know, the beach expectations. So, uh, but the thing is, is that uh, it is possible to open up and serve 
small amounts without having without having to break the bankings. This is at this place I was at, I was sort of thinking about that. Got me sort of thinking about how to sort of approach the whole, the whole series. And so that's uh, what I was able to do. I still have to do uh, uh, the reorganizing for the Greek. I have to do a lot of my notes on here for the Greek. Uh, I, I was able to get pretty far, uh, further than I expected to get over the last weeks during chemistries for the Greek. But there, a lot of notes have to be done. And that's because what happens is that you're dealing with a language that's thousands of years old. And as it happens, there's differences between the Greek you'll find on Android, which is more of a modern Greek, and the older Greek. So basically what has to happen is they have to step down and work on a keyboard. Normally that's a multilingual keyboard, but considers the the age and, and, and how old a language is. So you may have to have uh, multiple different types of fonts on here for the various different types of languages. So in terms, in terms of what you can type in. The keyboard allows for multiple spaces, for multiple fonts to a certain degree but doesn't provide it doesn't provide a way to put in more fonts for the keyboard so uh, i'm going to have to start down, sit down and sort of work that out see what the fonts i can sort of put in here uh what type of options can be done and then go from there on out and sort of uh basically I'm going to contact the keyboard manifier and see if i can get the code and work on it through my own uh, virtual keyboard and bring that out in a later uh date uh, i'm still working on the ubuntu bsd unix atel uh, series I've actually started working on here. I'm going to film a test pilot up here, a test segment for the kitchen diner. And then I'm also going to do uh, for the uh, new series called uh, Wandering. Uh, I'm going to do a test shot up here as well because uh, with the with 720p camera that I have here, this is good enough to do that. I could do a, a test shot for uh, for Wandering, you know, for the new uh, series that's coming up. So anyways, uh, that's about it for today. That's about for now. And uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Alrighty. Take it easy. Bye-bye.